again. Uh, Uh, sorry, uh, we were cut. Uh, I'm very sorry for the technical difficulties. Uh, so I'll, I'll, um, I'll uh, repeat my the beginning of my lecture. So if we're using a cleanser, the cleanser should be hypoallergenic gentle cleanser. Uh, it should be uh, fragrance free non-irritating. When we say it's hypoallergenic, it contains less preservatives and uh, you must always look at the label uh, it, if it contains uh, PABA or other uh, components that may irritate your skin. Uh, it should not leave a skin that is feeling sticky or dry after rinsing and uh, a cleanser must be suitable for your skin type. So, hindi tayo pare-parehas ng skin. So, it can be normal, oily, dry, sensitive, or combination skin. Uh, so, what are the types of skin cleansers available in the market? These are just uh, some list of the cleansers available, the types of skin cleansers. So, when we say it's gel cleanser, uh, so it's like a gel, so it's suitable for patients with oily and Cream cleanser, it contains a lot of moisturizers, so when you use this, uh, it feel, uh, your skin feels uh, refreshed and, uh, and this is suitable for patients with dry, sensitive skin. Pag foam cleanser naman, marami yan yung, when you use it, pump siya and it releases foam cleanser. Uh, this is suited for, also for oily and combination skin. Uh, and then oil cleanser, uh, siguro mas marami sa mga uh, women uh, gumagamit ng oil cleanser, especially if they want to remove their makeup. Uh, oil cleansers, uh, aside from removing the makeup, it can also remove the, imp the impurities in the skin. So, uh, most of skin types, uh, pwede to. And micellar cleansers, ito yung soapless cleansers, yung parang uh, liquid na may mga micelles, uh, uh, particles in the in the in the solution so uh it's this is suited for dry sensitive skin and people use bark cleansers uh, however bark cleansers a lot has have high ph and alkaline ph so it really dries up the skin but there are new bars available now uh that uh, cleanses the skin uh that's has a good ph already and uh, uh less uh it's also hypoallergenic okay so for for so first step uh, as i mentioned a while ago is to wash our face and then second step is for morning and night you use a toner so choose the right toner for your skin uh skin type concerns so today's toners are formulated for a variety of skin concerns from acne and large pores to dry sensitive skin Even if you're just 20 years old, when you start younger, you apply serums on the face. Uh, one serum that I love to prescribe and it's really good is vitamin C. It's an L-acid ascorbic uh, formula. So uh, vitamin C is an antioxidant that protects your skin from sun damage and free radicals. So uh, not all vitamin C are the same. If you could see, Ascorbic acid and up high as 20%. So, um, so step three for daytime, but some uh, usually, uh, there's also step three that we do weekly, meaning at night, preferably uh, using face mask. Alam ko maraming gumagamit sa face mask, siguro yung mga nabibin paper, but I mean, by paper, uh, of course, it's good. But uh, I'll be discussing the uh, mask that's good to use. Okay, so mask mask uh, work to hydrate and strengthen the skin barrier. It 
contains peptides, ceramides, and hyaluronic acid. They support collagen production, which can smooth the lines and wrinkles. So uh, it, uh, you can use mask at least once a week, but it depends on the skin type of mask that you should use. So for uh, uh, step four in the morning, so again, I'll repeat step one, cleansing. Step two is toner. Uh, step three is serum. And then step four in the morning is apply sunscreen. So apply to hydrate the skin, make it supple, silky, and smooth. At the same time, bring protection against harmful and photo aging effects of UV rays, blue light, and IRA. So infrared A. Uh, I So, ideal sunscreen must be non-comedogenic. Ibig sabihin, pag non-comedogenic, hindi siya nagpo-promote ng formation ng comedones. Ano bang comedones? Comedones yun yung layman's term na blackhead and whiteheads. Okay? So, does not promote acne formation or comedones. So, sunscreen protection factor of 30 or above. So, SPF 30 will protect against 98% of the sun's UVB wavelength rays. And an SPF 50 will protect about 98.8%. So, hindi kailangan pang tumaas more than SPF 50. So, yung mga 60, above 70, 80, 90, if you look, uh, compared 30 and 50, it's already 98%, diba? So, uh, enough na, at least, at most for me, uh, I, the max that I prescribe for my patients is SPF 50. So, don't be misled by yung mga SPF 100, 150. Uh, ang importante, uh, uh, I'll discuss later what to look for in sunscreen. So, it has UVA, UV protection. So, from the picture, you can see that uh, there are sun rays as UVA, UVB, and UVC. Ang UVC usually does not penetrate the Earth's ozone layer. So, it's a short wavelength. And then UVB, yan yung longer wavelength, can penetrate the clouds and even uh, can penetrate the glass. So, it, is, uh, it causes tanning and burning and signs of aging. It's a 290 nanometer wavelength. And the UVA rays, it's the longer wavelengths that can penetrate deep into the skin surface. So, malalim sa balat natin. Kaya nagkakos ng DNH damage and syempre, uh, aging also and can result in cancer. So, uh, nakalagay nga dito that, that uh, UV rays present even, ang mga UV kahit cloudy, uh, there's still UV rays. And... Uh, it's really important to know this uh, different kind of UV, okay? So, uh, isa pa rin na nakakalimutan ng iba, hindi lang nasa loob tayo ng bahay, hindi ibig sabihin, hindi ibig sabihin na, na wala tayong exposure sa light, no? Ang dami na, light now, we're using our phones, cell phones, uh, laptops, uh, nanonood ng TV. So, this is what we call high energy visible light or HEV, HEVL, is the blue light that's emanating from electronic devices. So, HEV exposure can speed up the aging process, leaving us with premature wrinkling of skin and dark spots. So, from the picture, you can see that UVB, as I said, can penetrate the skin surface at the level of the dermis, UVA deeper into the skin, pero tingnan nyo ang blue light, can penetrate deeper into the dermis than UV rays. So, uh, be careful. Pero syempre, hindi naman ibig sabihin paggamit mo agad ng cellphone mo or TV mo or laptop mo. Meron ka agad. At it requires hours. At least, sabi nila, yung 15 to 30 minutes ng UV rays, if you use it for more than 12 to, for at least 10 to 13, 10 hours or more, yun, nagiging parang katulad ng 15 minutes exposure sa UV rays. Pero, since we're in lockdown, lahat tayo uh, gumagamit. So, we're really exposed to this uh, blue light. So also, an ideal sunscreen should have an infrared A protection. So you can see from the picture, infrared has A, B, and C, so different wavelengths. Uh, so 50% of the sun is made of infrared A and leads to skin aging also. Marami mga sunscreen doesn't contain this, but there are sunscreens available now uh, that uh, you can buy that has, I has IRA protection. 
Uh, how much sunscreen to apply? Ito na. Madalas bibili ng sunscreen pero peace. Mga alam mo yun, kasing liit lang na green tea or liit lang na ipapahid sa mukha. First of all, it should be applied uh, 13 minutes before sun exposure in the morning and then pwedeng nga apply after 3 to 4 hours pag pinapawisan. Uh, one shot glass. Nakalagay dito, one shot glass. You can see, one shot glass. Uh, one half teaspoon sa face and neck. Half a teaspoon sa each arm, two teaspoons sa torso, and two teaspoons sa each leg. So you can see a picture here, uh, one fourth, one half, one teaspoon, and two teaspoon size. So it's really important proper application of sunscreen. So, uh, so I mentioned that uh, morning tapos na tayo, sa night na tayo. So step one ng night, cleansing then, step two, toner. Ang step 3 ng night is a serum that addresses your current need. Pag sinabi mong serum, this uh, serum that we must apply uh, is dependent on what we need. For example, we need a serum that we want to lighten our spots. Yung mga pekas or dark spots, pwede. A serum that would address... Uh, so, uh, pwede. So, we must apply a serum that is applicable to the type of skin that you need. And then, syempre, step 4 apply a moisturizer. But sometimes, ang moisturizer natin incorporated sa mga creams na gagamit natin. If it did, step for a moisturizer. So, yung from forming as well as smooth out any fine lines not to decrease pigmentation by cellular turnover. For sensitive So after application, something like that, I'm not in the area. So that's important to apply an eye cream, an eye cream, so to brighten the under your area. It is important to keep your eyes hydrated because this is what helps you wrinkles less noticeable and keep the skin firm and plump. And and uh, yan, when you apply it, ang gagamitin when you apply creams, it's use uh, best to use your fourth fourth finger sa hand, ring finger. Uh, kasi very light ang ano nito, put the cream on the tip of your fourth finger and then apply it under the area or yung motion natin is motion going up, upward in direction uh, uh, on under the eye, you see the photo, also pag sa face, ganun din, from the cheek going to the temporal or to the sides of the, the uh, near the ear area, uh, so start from the ch cheeks and then uh, towards the ear pataas ang direction even sa neck pataas then from the base of the neck going up to the uh, chin going up to the jawline so every every direction ng application of the cream should be uh, going upwards so skincare routine So we're finished with the sitting care routine phase and now that I also have skin care tips sa inyo, no? Pwede natin ilagaan ang skin natin from within, also skin care outside, from outside, okay? So syempre it's a balanced diet. Alam na natin dapat ko anong balanced diet. Uh, what we need is to follow yung nutritional guidelines, yung FNRI, of course, and doon pa rin yung uh, 40 to... Uh, about 60% uh, uh, carbohydrates, tapos at least 20 to uh, 30% uh, protein, tapos 10% uh, 10% to 20% depends on the need on fat. Alam ko maraming nagkikito na paleo diet, hindi natin mahabang usapan yan, but it must be a balanced diet. Drink plenty of water, especially now hot season, at least 
2.53 liters as ano mas gusto ko yung room temp water kasi mas marami ka na iinom and continue to exercise lalo na ngayon during covid pandemic exercise tayo not only good for the heart for the health is syempre pag nagsusweat tayo na exercise tayo nag-iincrease ang blood flow din sa skin nagiging maganda skin natin and syempre through sweat we eliminate the toxins the toxins in our body okay have enough sleep and rest at least eight hours of good rest sleep alam ko marami na pupuyat ngayon kaka social media and everything uh, late matulog pero develop still a uh, good sleeping habit uh, at least eight hours and of course eight hours uh, also sorry also avoid smoking paninigarilyo and at the same time too much drinking of alcohol hindi ko nasulat dito skin care tips from outside syempre bath daily with soap and water uh, and protect your skin from trauma kung sobrang init of course ngayon mainit iwasan natin uh, uh, iwasan natin yung syempre mga kapal na damit dahil pag sobrang maninitan tayo at hindi tayo nalito at hindi gamit natin masyadong mainit kung magkaroon ko na buong araw another skin problem yan yeah, diba so basta basta kamot-kamot ng balat at pag kinakamot kasi or nasubang dry hindi magkaroon ng infection apply mo yung so this is something the skin to vigorously pat dry with a clean soft towel. So yung mga towel natin ha mag-invest tayo ng good towel baka mamaya yung towel natin sobrang matigas na nag uh, alam mo na hindi na good for the skin na agakaroon ng nagagasgas yung balat, nagaka-abrasion. So make sure that your towel is still soft but also use on your face if you could use just uh, invest in a good soft towel and pat dry your uh, when wiping your face and your body. so let's proceed uh let's proceed with hair kits. so the goal of basic hair care is to avoid damage to the outermost of or the cuticle layer hair kasi natin yung outer most coating natin ng hair is made out of the cuticle layer so shampoo gently massage the scalp with fingertips and not fingernails uh, use conditioner to improve damage or dry hair uh, pat the dry hair, do not rub, and when we comb our hair, use a white tooth smooth edge comb with blunt tips. Much better not a hairbrush for wet hair, for wet hair. So, white tooth smooth, ed smooth edge comb with uh, blunt, uh, blunt tips, okay? So, uh, also comb gently to untangle hair, start from the ends and work towards the scalp. Limit the use of drying, yung mga hair drying or styling equipment, two to, two, two to three times per week as much as possible, kahit once a week kung kaya. Pero kung daily na trabaho, two to three times a week, basta set low or medium heat instead of high kung nagbablower. Use smooth surface rollers instead of brush rollers. Uh, brush your uh, hair only as needed for styling. Usually about 20 gentle strokes will keep hair well groomed. Use a natural bristle or nylon brush. Excuse me, or nylon brush that has blunt, rounded tips. Avoid overprocessing your hair. Yan, maraming lalo na sa mga kababaihan. So women natin nagpapa bleach, coloring, perming, rebound or straightening. Na kasira po, nasisira ang hair natin, ang cuticle lalo nagde dry, nagi hair loss tayo, napuputol ang hair strands. So avoid po natin. Protect hair from the damaging effects of too much sun uh, by wearing a wide brim hat or uh, there's also sunscreens available for the hair. Uh, shower promptly after swimming uh, to remove chlorine or salt water from hair and have a regular hair. So, challenge for us and, and let's go in yourself as uh, self care kind of with it. So, shampoo as needed to keep your hair and scalp clean. Those who have oily hair have strenuous activities or uh, but uh, frequent shampoo will not lead to hair loss. At least some if you shampoo, you will not lead to hair loss. Okay, so in the video, 
uh, except na lang kung uh, maraming may underlying mga conditions that precipitate or that induces the our our hair our scalp to lose hair okay however daily shampoo uh, um, and excessive brushing rubbing can be mistaken for hair 